What? A Mortal Kombat movie with blood and gore and swearing? No, no, no. You gotta make it PG-13. You gotta have Johnny Cage fall over in water and then, you know, th those incredible one-liners and, uh, you know, Mortal Kombat. That's what it is. Okay, okay. Uh, I just saw <laughs> uh, the uh, newest Mortal Kombat movie. Uh, thank you so much for the uh, uh, screener, by the way. I always want to give a big shout out whenever I'm uh, giving the screener to that, so thank you so much for that, um, uh, for the early viewing. And uh, I, I guess before I talk about this film, I should say what, what I think about Mortal Kombat in general and the previous movies and stuff. Uh, I played the games up until 3, um, and I, even though I wasn't that good at them, it's hard for me to get, I, I'm a Capcom guy, uh, but I did really like them. I, I love the characters, I love the creativity behind the gore and everything, I love the world and the designs, I, I love them. Uh, and the first movie uh, that came out back in the 90s, um, I'm one of those purists that's just like, PG-13? No, they ain't Mortal Kombat. Sorry. That's like doing a PG Friday the 13th. It's like, no, no, that's it. You don't get it. <laughs> uh, and I'm sure, like, the director and the writer, they couldn't. They're like, ah, oh, we gotta appease the kids and stuff like that, and we gotta make it so they can see it, but, uh... That's just not a Mortal Kombat movie to me, but but there's some good stuff in it. It looks nice, that incredible song, um, you know, and, and there are even a few things that I'll compare to this one that I do think are, are a little better, but just overall, it didn't get into it. Annihilation, on the other hand, I goddamn love. <laughs> that is one of the most beautifully bad movies, and I could watch it right now and have a blast. I just love it. But but it's bad. It's a bad movie, but it's the best kind of bad. Uh, so, in my opinion, we haven't really had a good, faithful Mortal Kombat movie. And I will say I'm not, like, an expert on Mortal Kombat. Like, if you were to ask me what's the character's backstories, uh, I could probably say a couple of them, and even then just the very bare-bones, you know, bullet points. Uh, so, going into this film, uh, of course I'm excited to see that. It's an R rating, and that, that it was gory, uh, and they're swearing. Uh, I, I don't even know if the other Mortal Kombat games had swearing, actually. That, But, but yeah, the gore might as well have the swearing, too. Um, um, and, uh, the initial reaction overall that I had to it is that I did like it, uh, but, like, just enough. <laughs> like, just enough to say, okay, that was entertaining, uh, I enjoyed it, um, and the, uh, it's almost like a really fun, cool, kick-ass movie, uh, with one major element. This feels like a film that... They had, like, maybe a two-hour, ten-minute run, and then they're like, we gotta cut 15 minutes, and they didn't know how to cut that 15 minutes out. Uh, this feels like a very rushed, edited movie, uh, you know, like, before it's about to go to theaters and stuff like that, like, we gotta cut out this 15 minutes, man, and they just did it as quickly as possible, and it shows. <laughs> There's times where it's like... It'll start off like a martial arts movie. You know, I think the first seven minutes of this are out on uh, YouTube right now. And it's cool. I'm like, oh my god, here we go. This is great. Uh, if you've seen that first seven minutes, or the opening there, and you think this is going to be the movie, it's not. <laughs> There's elements of that, but it's really not. It's making it look like it's a martial arts film. Uh, but then it kind of becomes Creed for a bit, or, or it kind of kind of becomes a cage fight movie. Uh, then it becomes like an alien Snyder film for a little bit. Uh, then sometimes it becomes like a Power Ranger movie, and then sometimes it becomes a lot more intense, like a horror film and stuff, and it sort of jumps around, which honestly is fine, because that's... Mortal Kombat, it's a mix of a bunch of different, like, characters and even kind of styles in there, uh, but they do not transition very well from scene to scene. Like, you'll have a scene where um, a character is talking... And, you know, talking with his family, just like, you know, yeah, talking about the fight, whatever. And they'll just cut to Outworld. And it's not even like, hey, we're going to transition to this. Just here's this brand new place, sky, weird throne, whatever. It just says Outworld over here. And there's been almost like no lead in or talk or anything about like an alien world or a different anything. <laughs> uh, so that kind of stuff happens a lot. There's even a fight scene where they're... 
uh, there's a fight in, like, you know, this temple, and then there's a fight in a garage happening at the same time, and they cut so fast, I didn't always know where we were. I'm like, was well, that, did that punch happen in the garage, or that happened in the temple? So there's a lot of scenes like that, uh, and it's kind of so, uh, sort of comp I don't want to say complicated, but they're trying so hard to, um, fit everything in as quickly as possible, that there's not a tournament, <laughs> and that's kind of a big thing about Mortal Kombat, is there's a tournament. Uh, so that's one of the things I feel like the original film uh, did do better, is that the pacing was better and the editing was better, and you felt like you were in this world. Because that's what we want with something like Mortal Kombat. I mean, the worlds are cool and the fighting is cool. You want to feel like you're there, especially in a movie. Uh, so that's something the original film got down, is that you feel like you're in this place. There there were, even though there was a lot of CG in that movie, there, there were a lot of practical effects uh, as well. So they, they, they did, you know, kind of dot the I's and making it feel like, yes, you, you are here in Outworld. Uh, there is no Outworld building in this at all. <laughs> I mean, it's just a guy in a throne, some creatures fly by, he talks to him a bit, that's it. That's all you see of it. Uh, so that's something that, that was a little bit of a letdown for me. But where it does pick up and uh, have a lot of fun is uh it is with the moves and the powers you know with, with sub zero does a lot of cool stuff uh kano is much funnier in this than he is in the original um there's no johnny cage <laughs> which again n maybe they'll do him better in the sequel if there's a sequel i don't know uh but but he was pretty annoying in the uh original one there's a lot of exposition-y lines, like a lot of times where people will just, well, what do we do now? Well, now we have to go to the outer realms of this world, and we have to go through this gate, and we have to, like, there's a lot of dialogue like that, where they're just like, say it as fast as possible, it doesn't matter if it sounds realistic <laughs> at all, uh, but every time it starts to get a little heavy with that, they'll throw in usually a good one-liner, and even if the one-liner is not always that great, I mean, I, I hate talking like this, but just throwing in a swear word sometimes can really make it come alive but much more. There's one scene where a guy puts his hand, like, on Kano's shoulder, and, uh, you know, if he says something like, the hell? Well, that's not that funny, but he goes, the fuck? That's really funny. Uh, you know, I'm saying, there's just, that's writing, that's language, just some words are gonna sound funnier. Uh, so the fact that they can drop a lot of F-bombs in this and they can go creatively gory is really nice. Uh, the martial arts is pretty good in this. Uh, and again, I'm almost wondering if that's an editing thing too, because again, the editing is just so frantic in this. Uh, where it, sometimes it looks like they might miss a punch or there's a move or two where I'm just like, well, okay, I've seen martial arts done faster than that, you know, but, uh, but it's still creative, it's still well done, and they still incorporate a lot of the moves in there, uh, which is really, really cool. Uh, with that said, there's a very odd choice to make the main character in this a new character. I don't understand that. <laughs> and he's not bad. He's not good either. Uh, it's nice that he does have a connection to, like, another character uh, in the movie, but the only fight in the film where I'm like, all right, here we go, I'm excited, comes from a character that was, that was established early on and is not in the film until the very end. Uh, that's a problem. And again, I feel like if this was a tournament movie where there's actually a tournament, uh, you would feel more of that. You'd get more of that, you know, hyped up and yeah, go get them kind of thing. Uh, but you know, if you want to get really technical about the film, you know, just without knowing what Mortal Kombat is or anything like that, a lot of characters don't always have the best chemistry. They don't work that well off each other. You know, you, you got uh, Sonya and uh, Jax, and they're supposed to have been, like, you know, in the military together, and she's like, I always looked up to you, and I'm just like, no, you didn't. <laughs> no, you didn't. Not at all. You didn't say it like you did. It's not edited like you did. It's not written like you did. Uh, it's, but... I was saying, um, with Mortal Kombat, it seems like that that are a little silly and, like, even super cliched. 
I'm okay with that because that is Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat is silly. Uh, you know, Raiden is based off of a character from Big Trouble in Little China. It's about as silly a movie as you can get. Uh, so even though it's very gory and, and, you know, of course that's what we want, it's super violent and mean and stuff, it is still wonderfully ridiculous. That's part of the charm, is that the gore and the deaths and everything are so over the top. Um, but there is also sort of this dark grittiness on top of that silliness, and this one gets it for the most part, uh, which was very nice to see. Uh, so, so for the most part, I, I did enjoy it, um, and it did fly by pretty fast, too. I, I mean, this is a, a one hour, 50 minutes, uh, and, and it, it didn't feel that long. It felt like an hour and a half movie, and, and that's a real compliment to it, um, but I felt like I could have had more with it, too, you know, and again, I think a lot of that's the editing. There's so many scenes, there's not really that many establishing shots, there's not many, you know, dissolves or fades or anything like that. Uh, it never made you want to feel like you were at any of these places, and that's part of the fun of Mortal Kombat, is that when you go to a level and you're fighting someone, the levels look great and you want to see more of it. You kind of look in the background and see the little details or, you know, what they did to, like, past fighters that got killed or their heads are on, you know, spikes and shit like that. You know, you want to notice that stuff, uh, but they just don't give you much time to observe it. Uh, so that... That was a major problem, in my opinion, but if you're going into this movie, I think like a lot of people are, uh, to see some good fighting, to see some uh, imaginative effects, to see some gore, to see some people say some cool one-liners, you know, with some F-bombs dropped in there as well, it'll give you that, and it's not bad at it. Um, I don't think it's like phenomenal or anything, but it's not bad. Um, and as someone that, you know, was waiting for a rated R Mortal Kombat movie. It's so nice that we finally have one. Uh, I don't think it's great. Uh, and I wish it was great. But it's good. And I think if you're not a Mortal Kombat fan, if you never played the games, it, this is not gonna interest you in the slightest. <laughs> um, it, it's probably gonna be too jumbled and jumps around too much. It's gonna feel like a B movie uh, too many times. But again, that's kind of what I like about the games. That's kind of what I like about Mortal Kombat. Uh, so it's it's a little bit of everything. They, they try to throw in um, as much as they can, sometimes uh, a little too fast. And like I said, I, I feel like they could have slowed it down. Um, th this movie just has that feeling like, no, we, we can't be on screen for too long. We really, really have to rush this. We have to make this quick. And I, I feel like it really didn't. I feel like if they just let it kind of go at a more comfortable pace, uh, we could have had like a really awesome kick-ass movie. As is, I think it's good. I, I still had a good time. I still, uh, you know, laughed when you're supposed to laugh and, uh, you know, kind of cheered at some of the points you're supposed to cheer and went, oh, at the points where you're supposed to go, ew. Um, you know, but I also did find myself saying, man, I wish I was, like, even more into this. And I really think the big element of that uh, is the editing. Um, like I said, it just feels like one last editor was called in to chop this up uh, and probably not given much time to do so. <laughs> it just has that feel to it. Um, but, yeah, I... I recommend it. If you're a fan of the Mortal Kombat uh, games, I I'd say this is going to give you your fix. Um, if you're a fan of the first one, I don't know what you're going to think of this one, honestly. Uh, because there are things that are a little better in the first one. Like I said, you know, the pacing, and I'll argue the look of the film. Um, but And I do like there was a little bit more practical effects in there, too. Um, I thought there's one or two gory things in here that, that kind of looked like it was really there, but it's a lot of CG blood, but it's also, um, it's based on a Mortal Kombat game, where there's nothing but animated blood, like, that's okay, in my opinion, uh, you know, this is one of the few times where it's like, yeah, yeah, I get it, it's action and gore, and it's supposed to be fast, I mean, there's ropes with spikes coming out people's hands and pulling out their hearts and stuff, like, of course that's gonna be, you know, CG, you know, we had a whole game that was nothing but animated blood, so, uh, so that didn't bother me too much. Um, so, yeah, if you're looking for the ultimate Mortal Kombat movie, like, this is it, I, I can't say it's that. I can't say it's like, yes, it answers all your prayers, it's just as badass, it's just as amazing. Um, but if you're looking for one to just give you 
the stuff you like from Mortal Kombat, you know, in just a fair amount of doses. I think it is there. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Uh, depending on when this comes out, it, um... You might not have seen it yet, I'm not sure, but but when you do get to see it, uh, let me know what you think, because I'm really curious how uh, uh, Mortal Kombat fans, how Mortal Kombat, the first movie fans, uh, like it, and just people that have no interest in Mortal Kombat uh, like it. So, so I guess everybody, the more I think about it. I'm curious what everybody thinks, uh, but let me know. Let me know your thoughts, and then also let me know, uh, did you like the games? Did you like the first movie? Uh, or have you never been interested in Mortal Kombat at all, and let me know what you uh, think about it, because I'd love to know uh, the different points of view there. Uh, so that's about it, and I'll see you next time. Take care.